Look at insan. You are a changeable personality. Why? Because your life evolves around three things. Akal, body, and the heart, soul. Akal changes. Body changes. Soul changes. When you look at body, Quran said, atwara. We created you of different stages. At one stage, small boy. Certain stage, so the body changes. If the body change, then insan has to go with the changes of the body. Akal the same. At one stage, your akal is like this. But then akal keeps growing. Likewise, your soul, your nerves, it can either be nafs al it can either be nafs al-ammara, it can either be nafs al inna. it also changes. So the reality of insan is change. But not every change, positive change, positive progress. Now one scholar, maybe you know him through your readings, called Roger Sperry. He won Nobel Peace Prize. Some scholars said 1983, some said 1981. Al Mohem. He was a specialist in brain. He conducted research about brain and he concluded with three conclusions. He said the brain of insan is divided into two halves left hemisphere and right hemisphere. He said the left hemisphere of a brain performs certain actions and the right performs certain actions. You know what are the actions? He said the left wants nothing but routine. It wants one thing, one program, no change. And scholars said the left want is to touch. You just want to focus on what he's been doing and achieve whatever one wants to achieve through what he's been doing. That's left. But the right, no, it wants routine. It wants changes. Your left doesn't want change. Right wants change. And then his second conclusion is that there are those who are lefties and those who are righties. When I talk of lefty, I'm not talking of those who eat with left hand and right hand. Those who want change now and then. And those who don't want change at all. And one scholar was giving example, one of our great scholars said, Munir al-Khabbas, may Allah prolong his life. He said, may Allah make it easy for you if you have a wife who is lefty and husband is righty. I'm sure some of us experience this, isn't it? Because if a wife is lefty, she doesn't want change. She wants everything from A to Z. And the husband, he come, he, he take the clothes, he throw the clothes somewhere. You know, he remove, he eat food, he leave it somewhere. So you gotta find lefty and righty. And then his third conclusion, this person, this doctor is that sometimes you may find a person who is Muzdawich, both left and right. He want routine, and at the same time, he want change. From an Islamic perspective, both are required in every human being. Routine is crucial. You can't distract routine if it is delivering. But if it is not delivering, there must be a change. But the change that Islam requires from us is positive change. No change for the sake of change. We need change to bring about positivity in our lives. And so scholars come forward based on the traditions of Ahlul Bayt alayhi musallam. They said there are two major requirements of positive change. And after this requirement, we'll look at how do we go about it. First requirement is what? Willing to change. One has to have the willingness to take your salah to the next level. You have to have the willingness to take your recitation of Quran to the next level. You have to have the willingness to take your study to the next level. You have to have the willingness to ensure that your marriage works for better. 
You have to have the willingness to have a strong connection with your community. If there is no willingness, you know very well, naturally there is nothing that you can achieve. In other words, you need to have passion for positive change. Otherwise, you remain stagnant. And the second requirement of that is what? The change must be properly scrutinized and studied. One cannot just say, I am willing to change, so the change must happen. It must be carefully studied, carefully analyzed, look at the advantages and disadvantages before you get into change.